There's your stopwatch. Now here you go. This is the handset mode. Now with some of these other watches, with the other modules, this is a little bit more hidden than this. But if there's ever any need to adjust the display on the hands, this is where you would start to access that. You see, normally, let me take this back to timekeeping mode. Okay, so normally the second hand would match what that shows in, in seconds right there. And if that's off for any reason, then you can get to the handset uh, adjustment mode and fix that. Same with if I push this here, uh, right there. If this digital display does not match the hands, then you got to get into the handset mode and fix that. So now let's go back to the handset mode. Right now it's just not doing anything. But if I press and hold this button, the adjust button, on the upper left side, things start to blink. Okay, the first thing it's going to do is have the second hand race around to the straight up 12 o'clock position. Okay, if it's not pointing straight up, then you can adjust it by pushing this button down here. And every time you push that button, it's going to advance by one second. So if it had not been correct, I could use this button to have it spin around until it gets to the straight up 12 o'clock position. And once that's correct, then I can adjust the other hands. So if I push this button down here, the mode button on the lower left, then it's going to show me, well, this is the, this is the time that these hands should be displaying right now. So 18 minutes past the hour. And uh, I can use this button down here or this button up here to advance that and, uh, or, or, you know, either advance or take, make it go back. Right? So, uh, in normal timekeeping mode, the minute hand will advance every 20 seconds. So, uh, for one minute, it will advance three ticks. So right now I need to get it to uh, 13, 18. So let me just line this up and advance that ahead to where it uh, is pointing directly at the 18 minute marker, that little hashtag right there. Let's see. Oh, and it looks like it's advanced to 19 well, as I've been sitting here playing with it. So I'm just going to go ahead three clicks to where it's showing uh, 13, 19. And uh, I think that's good. So I'll go ahead and push this button to make things stop flashing. And what should happen now is that it will advance to the correct time. So now if I take it back to timekeeping mode here, Okay, that's showing me the analog hand should be showing 1319. And it just advanced again, when the second hand hit the 42nd mark. So in just a moment here, when this reaches 1320, I should see the second hand straight up there. And I should see this advanced to being pointed more directly at the four o'clock mark. So let's just watch that. Okay, it looks like we're good to go there. The alignment is correct. Now there's only been one time in the last seven years when I've had to do this adjustment because the hands got out of alignment somehow. And uh, I only show it to you this time, you know, as a demonstration, but there was only one time when I had to do it. And the reason for that, well, it could be anything. It could be uh, maybe, you know, I, I bounced it around a lot uh, when I was wearing it, you know, that, that, that weekend when I worked a jackhammer all weekend wearing this watch, you know, or something like that, uh, that didn't really happen, but also magnetic interference. Like if I left this too close to a, could be a computer monitor, a, a, you know, a stereo speaker or something like that. I don't know exactly why it was off by a little bit, but I went through this procedure and fixed it and everything's fine. So, uh, okay. And again, those are all the basic modes on this watch. Now, if I,